Now, it's going to be a cold and dry night, so these stars are going to look extra bright. If you get a chance, grab a jacket, come on outside and uh, check out one of my favorite constellations, Orion, the hunter. Uh, the easiest way to find Orion is to look in the southern horizon, but also look for the three stars. A little bit about those three stars, the one on the far left. So if you find uh, the three, you want to look to the one on the far left. Uh, that's actually three stars in one. It's called the triple star. So if we zoomed in really, really close, we'd actually see three stars. Uh, but as the one, it's about 100,000 times brighter than our sun. Now the one on the far right, so you go one, two, three. On the right, that's a binary star. So if we zoomed in even closer, we'd actually see two stars. Same situation if we go from this one to that one. Uh, this one is called Betelgeuse, not Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse, and that's a binary star. If we find Betelgeuse and go across the constellation, that is called Bellatrix. Harry Potter, same thing. Now you can't just stop there. If you're outside, you might as well turn all the way around. So you find the three stars in the southern horizon, turn all the way around to the north and look towards the horizon, you'll find Ursa Minor or the Little Dipper. That's something you can look at tonight in the evening sky if you get the chance any point between about 6 and 10 o'clock in the evening or a little bit later. Just always want to look for that anchor point, which is going to be these three stars right in the middle of Orion's belt.